Hi, I'm Audrey and I'll be introducing you to Liquid Liquid Extraction. Hi, I am Lau Kai Ying and I will be explaining the advantages of Liquid Liquid Extraction. Hi, I'm Liang Kei Xiong and I will be explaining the advantages of Liquid Liquid Extraction. Hi everyone, my name is Kina Teresa Tulima Binti Ozair. I will be presenting on LLE equipments. Hello, my name is Nina Kavigri and I'll be explaining about the process of liquid liquid extraction. Hello, my name is Mama Alfami and I will be explaining about tough of solvent. Hello, my name is Mama Namisha and I will be explaining the application of liquid liquid extraction. Hi, my name is Alma Renitsa and I'll be explaining about the second application of liquid liquid extraction. What is an extraction? Extraction is the process of removing or separating a substance from one phase by bringing it into contact with a second phase. The two phases are immiscible. When both phases are liquids, the process is known as liquid-liquid extraction. What is liquid-liquid extraction? Liquid-liquid extraction is a counter-current separation process of extracting a solute from a feed by bringing it into contact with the solvent to produce an extract and a raffinate. Feed is a solution to be extracted. Solvent is the liquid in which the feed is contacted with. Extract is the solvent-rich product of the process. And raffinate is the residual liquid from which solutes are removed. In some operations, when solutes are the desired product, extract stream is the desirable stream. On the other hand, when solutes are contaminants to be removed, raffinate is the desired product stream. Liquid-liquid extraction has several advantages over methods that are more complex. For one, liquid-liquid extraction is easy to utilize and straightforward. All that required is just an organic and aqueous solvent, something to mix them in, and then something to isolate the layers. This last step can be done with a pipette for small volumes or flow up from the bottom of a separatory funnel for large volumes. Due to these factors, liquid-liquid extraction as a very common extraction method is one of the first methods taught to undergraduate chemistry students. Biologically produced chemicals and fuels like algae often require liquid-liquid extraction. This allows engineers to separate the different components of these fuels. Since not all of the fermented and biologically formed components are usable, so they must be extracted while keeping the rest of the useful solution intact. Liquid-liquid extraction is used to lower the required energy levels for the distillation of these solutions. Sharing the same end of separating the components of the mixture, liquid-liquid extraction has several advantages over distillation. Firstly, liquid-liquid extraction includes the purification of substance that is either liquid phase or solid phase, but distillation can only be done for liquid phase mixture. Next, liquid-liquid extraction method is preferable to be used in the following cases compared to distillation. For example, when the formation of aerotrophs limit the degree of separation obtainable in distillation, when heating must be avoided, or when the components to be separated are quite different in nature. Furthermore, liquid-liquid extraction involves dissolved or complex inorganic substance either in organic or aqueous solution solvent. It can remove a component present in a small concentration of a mixture or compound. For example, liquid-liquid extraction can extract hormones which are present in animal oil. By using liquid-liquid extraction, the recovery of a high boiling point component present in small quantities can be achieved in the waste stream. For instance, acetic acid can be recovered from cellulose acetate compounds by using liquid-liquid extraction process. In addition, liquid-liquid extraction is preferable to recover heat-sensitive materials such as food where low to moderate processing temperatures are needed. During the process, thermal decomposition might occur as the compounds break down when heated. Generally, by using liquid-liquid extraction, solvent recovery is easy and energy savings can be realized. In short, liquid-liquid extraction is an universal application in extraction of solvent component mixture and has flexibility with physical properties and various parameters. Liquid-liquid extraction is cheap to use and it is a more gentle extraction which can give high recovery. Next, I will be talking about LLE equipment. While solvent extraction is often done on a small scale by synthetic lab chemists using a separatory funnel, it is normally done on the industrial scale using machines that bring the two liquid phases into contact with each other. Such machines include Mixer settlers Centrifugal contactor and also column contactors. As for today, I will be explaining on a non-agitated column extractor 
that is divided into two types which are packed columns and sieve tray columns as they are used widely in the petrochemical industry. So sieve tray liquid liquid extractors are similar to the sieve tray columns in the distillation column. The column consists of several perforated trays along with either the downcomers or upcomers depending on which phase heavy or light is chosen to be continuous. The original dispersion is performed by a nozzle and cross-flow contact occurs between each tray. Sieve tray columns are stage-wise contactors due to coalescence of the dispersed phase between trays and its redistribution through the perforations in the tray. It is important that the internals be coated with the continuous phase to avoid efficiency dampening coalescence of the dispersed phase. Droplets will retain their form if the surface is coated with the continuous phase. Next is pack column extractors. Uh, pack column liquid liquid extractors are also similar to those seen in other separations. The packing, which assists in droplet formation, can either be structured in a mesh net or randomly placed in the column. Dispersion is accomplished with a nozzle at the top or bottom of the column, depending on whether the heavy or the light phase is being dispersed. As in sieve tray columns, the internals of, column, of the column need to be coated with the continuous phase. Next, I will explain on how the liquid liquid extraction process is carried out. For liquid liquid extraction, we have two inlet streams and also two outlet streams. In the feed stream, we have one immiscible liquid containing solute A and carrier B, which are going to be separated by contacting it with another immiscible liquid called solvent. These two immiscible liquids will flow continuously in opposite directions and the extraction process takes place. The solvent will penetrate into this liquid matrix which causes the solute to be separated from the carrier. Next, the solute is diffused out of the liquid matrix and dissolved in the solvent. After extraction operation, the extract phase is at one end and the refinite phase is at another end. Extract phase is a solute rich phase. It contains solvent and solute A. Small amount of carrier B is also in the extract phase. Solvent and solute A is then separated by using separation processes like distillation or re-extraction or by density difference. Separated solute A is sent for use and solvent is recycled. While the refinite phase is where a lot of carrier B accumulated. Traces of solvent and solute A are also present in this phase. Carrier B and traces of solvent and also solute A are then separated by using same separation processes like in the extract phase, which are distillation or re-extraction or by density difference. The selection of the solvent is crucial for solvent extraction. There are many factors affecting solvent selection as listed below. First of all, factors that affect solvent selection is high selectivity, the ability of a solvent to extract a component or class of components above others, the number of extraction stages necessary will be determined by this factor. Moreover, stability of a solvent at process conditions is also important in order to minimize losses by degradation and generation of further impurities. Next factor is distribution or partition coefficient, the ratio of the solubility of the solute in the solvent compared to the feed. This factor will affect the selectivity and the amount of solvent phase required. Furthermore, density is also one of the factors that affect solvent selection. The larger the difference in density between the feed and the solvent, the easier it will be to obtain phase separation. Other than that, low viscosity is required to optimize the process that occurs. Solvent with high viscosity will inhibit both mass transfer and separation of the phases. Last but not least, the cost of solvent use. Although the extraction process may only play a minor role in the entire process, solvent losses should not have a significant impact on process economy. No solvent is likely to fit all of the characteristics and the list is not intended to be comprehensive. Based on the overall economics of the process, a compromise will be needed. So next, I will be presenting the application of liquid-liquid extraction. There are many applications of the liquid-liquid extraction process and one of them is for the agriculture industry. Agriculture or farming have been important industries worldwide for many years, with its success impacting people all around the world. Recently, many farmers have turned to liquid liquid extraction in order to better keep up with the new regulation and the ever-increasing demands of business and innovation. So why are liquid liquid extraction used in this industry? What are the advantages? So they use liquid liquid extraction to identify disease-resistant genes in crops, uh, improving crop yield and reducing the risk of crop loss. Additionally, additionally to predict offspring, which allowing farmers to optimize future livestock and crop yields. 
The second application of the liquid liquid extraction process is in the pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical industry is constantly changing with scientists discovering new medications every day. Automated liquid handling equipment allows pharmacies to stay abreast of the latest innovations in the industry. When used in the pharmaceutical industry, liquid liquid extraction is able to isolate and identify proteins, antibiotics, amino acids, and enzymes. Additionally, professionals can use liquid liquid extraction to extract essential oils, which manufacturers can use in fragrances, flavoring, and pharmaceuticals.